good morning we are still in new orleans at this beautiful campground and the sun finally came out i don't know if we're going to get up and start moving at all today it is so beautiful out here and the birds are so loud i love it I love the sun it feels delicious if you missed our last vlog we went and did some really awesome stuff so make sure you check that out we'll put it in the link of uh, the link to it in the description below but i mean i don't even know what what's our schedule for today bud um so i think we did decide we were gonna go mountain biking there is one mountain biking trail here but it's kind of on it's on the spillway but it's really cool like techie turns and twists and you know i guess they've mapped it out pretty well so we're gonna go do that it had like four and a half stars so we're gonna go mountain bike today and go out to dinner tonight because like in our other vlog we said that we are here to eat and enjoy the cajun food it has been amazing so far how we find these trails when we're in other areas that we're not familiar with we use the mountain bike project app you can download that it's free uh, you pick whatever state you're in and you just tap on it and it'll ask if to download whatever state it is hit download it takes two seconds and it pulls up and it just it you can do map or you can do list and it shows you the trails in that area or in the surrounding areas we are depending on traffic hour and a half two hours from baton rouge there is a mountain biking trail in baton rouge as well and we thought about doing that but we were just not really wanting to drive that far also with the trail here in new orleans since it is on the spillway it can be subject to closures depending on you know the water levels rising so um, it will let you know that on the app and it said to visit their Facebook page. So we went to the Facebook page. Actually, their Facebook page had not been updated since January 22nd. So Cody actually sent them a personal email and they said trails are good to go. Have a good time. So but I think we're just going to sit here and enjoy the birds a little bit longer and um, we'll let you know when we hit the road for the mountain bike trail. We're at the trailhead and I wonder how long was that drive? It was more like 50 yeah it was longer than we expected but it's better than driving two hours so uh here's what the trail looks like it's a one way we'll start here and you go all the way out and then you come back on the other side it's six miles so it should be pretty pretty fun it's not really any elevation it's just gonna i think they have a lot of like cool twists and turns so anyway we're ready to go have a good time to the truck that was a easy flowy ride. beginner fun trail but you can go really fast if you're really good and we didn't see any gators but it did say no. if you see gators they have the right away but we didn't see any no i heard um i don't know if they were snakes or lizards they sound the same going through the uh leaves but it was snake. fun okay i saw a baby one you know About this long i don't know what species it was but it was fun, so now we're gonna load up and figure out what we're gonna do next. So we'll let you know in a minute. Back at camp, and we already got cleaned up. And I think we're feeling like going to a brewery. You smell good. You wanna go to a brewery? I wanna go to a brewery. We deserve it because if we seemed a little out of it earlier, we were not expecting it to feel like 
really still and hot and muggy it, like you, August. If you it was stopped that bad. while you were riding on that trail, see here we've got a little breeze. I don't know if it's because of where we're at. There, if you stopped, it was like dead sweat. And every time I had to stop to set up the camera, so I oh could my get god! A... And the mosquitoes were killing my ankles. I guess I missed my ankles with a bug spray. So I was like, I gotta go. So if you don't see me in a lot of the footage, that is why because I was not waiting because they were tearing me up. But, but besides that, it was a fun trail. We yeah, just, beat, just keep going. Uh, don't stop. Don't pull a Cody. <laughs> don't be like, hey, don't this would stop. be cool. Hey, hold on, this is awesome. <laughs> She hates it when I do that, but it, it turns out for great content. And yeah, it gets a but lot that, of work. it's only because the bugs were biting me. Yeah, but and it was really hot. It felt like August. Yeah, it feels great here. I mean, I've got on a. You see what I'm wearing? It feels good here. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and head that way. So mostly all the breweries are located in the same area as the French Quarter on the other side of the Mississippi River. We're on the south side of the Mississippi River. So we're gonna head that way. See you when we get there. That's the habanero. Ooh. <laughs> if you don't know, we like IPA. So he has the habanero, and this is called You May Ask Yourself, and it's pretty good. I was not expecting that habanero to be that kick. It actually made my nose kind of run. Oh, and I don't know, but we're at the Nola Brewery, so I don't know if we saw that or if we thought. We just got done with the Port Orleans Brewery. The tacos mm -hmm. and queso. What kind of queso was it? Uh, green chili queso. It was, but it was all a very Mexican dish. They have quesadillas tacos. It was very good. We had all different kinds. We had beef, shrimp, mahi mahi. We had a veggie with avocado. It was delicious. But we are about to go back to camp and just mm -hmm. call it for the night. And we don't even know what we're gonna do tomorrow. We just wanna relax. We're tired. But we will see you in the morning.
Good morning, everybody. I think we figured out what we're gonna do, but we just cannot leave. It's just so nice here. I'm feeling super chill. I mean, can you blame us? I mean, just take a look. So we did figure out what we want to do. This is about 30 minutes from here. It's called the Woodlands uh, Conservancy Park. Apparently they have like a five mile trail that goes through there and you can see a bunch of World War, World War II bunkers. And of course some swamps and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna go check that out. I dig it, let's do it. See you there. We're at the trailhead. As you can see behind me is a parking lot. They have nice little bathrooms, but the door's locked. And these kids are playing outside at school and it just reminds me when I was little and I used to love recess and I told Cody I'd definitely one of them girls screaming over there for no reason at all. But this is called the Woodlands Trail and Park. And uh, like I said, it's like a five mile trail and there's only two other cars in the parking lot so looks like it's gonna be um pretty peaceful and there's a nice breeze and i was telling cody these are like these are the beach clouds it's raining all up north of here like at least two hours from here it's like raining today and tomorrow and then here it's just got a breeze it's nice so I'm excited to get started on this trail. Cody's still putting his shoes on, so we'll see you out there. All right, there's a lot of danger in this wood here. However, we come across our first mud hole bug right. No, mud. <laughs> mud hole bug right? <laughs> <laughs> our first mud hole, uh, mud bug hole or crawfish hole. If you got yourself oh, a dead. piece of bacon on a string, you put it down in there, he'd probably Bacon on a stick. Bacon on a string. <laughs> and it'd probably come right on out. Interesting. Guys, I tell you what, this is like the most relaxed feeling I've had. Actually, since Turley. Got here? No, oh. since Turley. <laughs> like, it's just been super chill. I'm loving today. Yeah, it's a very nice trail and beautiful day. Besides that, the what I do the rest of the time is I just drive around Miss Kelly. <laughs> so we found an old tree. It is a cypress tree. And it's saying it's a legend. It was alive in 1812. See that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Wow. That's actually really big. Yeah. Like, but it looks dead. I don't think it is, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like trees, man. Boy, it is a blue sky. It's getting a little hot. Yeah. But I have on black leggings. Not very smart there, Kelly. No, but I only brought one pair of shorts and I don't want to wear them yet. Well, you weren't expecting this type of temperature. No, because it was so cold when we first got here. Cody like froze to death the first night because I didn't bring the comforter. I didn't bring... Um, beanies. Well, we didn't need the beanies. It wasn't that cold. But I didn't bring his little, you know, red warm thing. Flannel. He just sleeps in that. And he was real cold. So... She didn't care about me. I didn't know. I, hey, I always ask him, pick your clothes out, pick your clothes out. I, and I just, I got, I'm just not good at it. <laughs> just not good at it. Crossing over the first water feature. Um, we've been following this bayou the entire time and now we're going to cross over it. So, it's been pretty nice so far. Yeah, it is been pleasant. It's, be it's a beautiful day. It really is. It's a pleasantly peaceful trail. It's easy. I like it. 
Oh, and this is an equestrian trail, so you can bring your horses and ride it. That would be really nice. All right, shove on. He just doesn't even care about us. Many of you ask, do we see snakes? Yes, yes we do. And here's one right here. Okay, that there is a venomous snake. That is a water moccasin. And you can tell from the shape of its head, the shape of its head is in a diamond shape, very narrow, slit eyes, long fat, it's a water moccasin. And if you notice, he turned away from me. And I'm probably four foot from him right now. Uh, good distance from striking. But when we were first walking this way, we were walking along the trail this way, and he turns and darts that way. Snakes always try to avoid people. They, and you ask, are you afraid of snakes? No, they're more afraid of us. See, he's actually trying to leave right now and leave me and trying to hide. Now, if I tried catching him right there whenever he was cornered, you could most definitely expect him to try to strike out and bite me because he can no longer get away from me. So those are the times that snakes usually bite. They don't just come out trying to bite you just because you're walking down a trail. If you stepped on it, of course, most definitely he would bite you. But no need to be afraid of snakes. Yes, Kelly is, Kelly is gone. Kelly does not play with snakes, <laughs> but just wanted to let y'all know, onward. Echoes from days past. So it looks like we're here where all the features are. Um, it is saying, why don't you read that for us, Cody? What's the timeline? In 19, or sorry, in 1542, the Spanish discovered the Mississippi River. In 1673, Margaret and Joliet. Uh, Let's not read all of them. Okay. <laughs> Words are hard for Cody, so and there's a lot on there. But um, it just is basically talking about the timeline of this area and things were explored. We got the Louisiana Purchase signed on here in 1803. The Civil War began 1861. It ended in 1865. Uh, important, the Magnolia Plantation, which I don't remember seeing that. Did you see the Magnolia Plantation on the map? I don't think it was in that area. Apparently, it burned in 1891, and there was a oh, great- Oh, there's a plantation here. Oh, it was on this property. Oh, okay. We're learning. Um, and a great flood of 1927. Uh, World War II began in 1939, ended in 1945. And it looks like the trail, this trail, uh, hold on, the remnants of Old Fort St. Leon were discovered in 1963. But it said that this trail was established in 2001. So there's a bunker right here we're coming up to. Yeah, these are World War II features. There's two. There's one up over there as well. Oh, cool. You can go see that one yeah, first? let's go that one first. Man, those are some heavy duty doors. Man. Yeah. They can't open this door anymore. There's a tree in the way. Ooh, it's echoey. Hello. You have to use your. Ooh, it feels good in here. Hello. Hey, Tossie. Heavy duty Solid. Door. So apparently this is a loop of uh, the bunkers. 
So we thought we were just going to see one offshoot, but this is the actual loop trail. So we're going to see all of them. This one you can't even get in though because this big tree is unfallen. This is the first one we've seen with the... Raised that's up. That's raised up this yeah. Now look how big this tree is. They built this before this tree started growing. That is huge. That's crazy. So I'm going to correct myself. That was not a loop. It was an out and back to the bunkers. We've got one more bunker we're going to check out here. That's a row all the way down. Oh, I thought, well, what was that? A, a row. Oh. There's two rows. Okay. And something we learned about these bunkers is that they are used to store ammunition during World War II. And there was train tracks coming in here from the river and they would come in here and store small arms ammunition into these bunkers to protect them. <clears throat> the other thing, this, this peninsula is very unique because during the 18, 1700s, the military learned, I think it was the French military learned that they could be very effective at stopping ships from coming up the river because when they got to this bend in the Mississippi River, they had to wait for the proper wind to catch sail to pull their warships around the bend over to New Orleans. So while they're sitting there waiting for the perfect wind, the military would just bombard them with cannons and sink their ships. So this is what made this such a strategic location on the Mississippi River to protect New Orleans. We just finished that trail and we are hot and tired. So the plan is we're gonna go out to eat again tonight and we're gonna head back to camp and get all cleaned up. Good evening, we're all cleaned up and looking sharp and ready to go out. And I have sunburn on my chest and I don't like sunburn, so. But she's, she's still pretty, I mean. I didn't even know the, how that happened. I know, but she looks pretty, Take look, look at my angel princess, oh yeah. In <laughs> me, in me, in me. Okay. <laughs> Looking good? Sharp? You know, oh, we don't ever hardly get dressed up. All right, so we're about to head on to, I guess we're going to the French Quarter because there's another restaurant over there we want to check out. We are back at camp and the food was phenomenal. We went to Oceana Grill. Oceana Grill. And the main reason we went there is for blackened gator because blackened gator is hard to find. We find a lot of fried gator, but not blackened. And I had duck. Oh goodness gracious, it was so great. I Would had you? black and red fish and it was really good. But we are tired, the hike today, kicked our behinds mm -hmm. and we just went go to bed and we'll see you in the morning see you then
Good morning, everybody. This morning, we're in a breakfast at Cafe Dumont again, and then we have something special we want to show you that's actually right behind Cafe Dumont. So let's go. <laughs> I freaking love Cafe Du Monde and this of course is our last day here and we cannot go without having it one more time because we don't know once again how long it will be before we come back. And they were actually busier and had more with the band today so it was worth it. Oh yeah. That is, it gives me goosebumps even listening to that. Look at it. I love it. I love it. But we wanted to just show you this beautiful church. Oh wow, yeah. We've never actually even came up here to see it. And we were, Cody's like, we have to go walk up here and see it. Yeah, this is insane how much fog there is on the Mississippi right now. And it's, what time is it? It's gonna be at least nine. Like nine o'clock? Look at this. <laughs> like you can barely even see that bridgeway out there. Yeah. We hope the sun comes out just so we can get back to camp to dry off our tent because there was so much to do on it this morning. But let's check out this beautiful church here. So we had to show you the St. Louis Cathedral. This thing was built in the 1700s. It's one of the most notable landmarks in Louisiana. I've seen it several times here, but we've never actually presented it on the vlog before and this this is so cool to us can you believe it 1700s man that's awesome back at camp and we were hoping everything would be dry and it looks like the tent is dry and the canopy so we can put stuff up. Yay! We have enjoyed this trip. We it has been amazing. It. it has been so much fun. It really has. This has probably been our best trip to New Orleans yet. Yeah, I think so. I'd have to agree. But if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. And we will catch you on the other. Bye!